Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to split text into several columns. So, and this is what the very useful Excel function text to columns is doing. So we can actually do this um, with text to columns, but we're going to learn to do it with VVA. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module. And here I will say uh, split text into columns. So the first thing we'll do is to confirm that we have selected one column because this function only works with one column. So here we will start and we say if selection.columns.count is equal to one, then because if it's not one, we, we cannot use it. And actually else, if it's not one, and I'll finish the if statement here, if it's not one, it's gonna display a message saying, uh, select just one column, okay? This will happen if, if we select more than one column. But if we select one column, then here, we're gonna set a, a destination range, and usually this comes in the same location. So it's gonna set um, name in column A, city in column B and H in column C. But we could change that. We could keep this. If we want to keep the data as, as is, we could select from B to, to D. But in this case, it makes sense to just split it uh, starting in column A. So we're going to set the destination range and I will call it uh, dest RNG, destination range. And this is going to be um, columns a through C. And we can, of course, declare that up here, dest range as a range variable. And then we're going to use the text to columns method with the selection. So whatever we have selected, we could also put a specific range. But in this case, it makes sense to go with the selection, which must be just one column. Then we say text to columns. And here, the first thing we have to put is the destination. So destination is going to be our destination range that we have already set before. And then let me continue in the next line. So I'm putting this underscore to continue in the next line. We need to specify the data type, data type. And the data type can either be delimited or with a fixed width. In this case, it's delimited. It's delimited by one space. So we have to use XL delimited. And when it is delimited, we have to say which character is delimiting the data. In this case, is the space. So we write the space equals true. And that's it. But we could use any other um, character. So for example, uh, if it's delimited by a tab or the semicolon, the colon, um, and some other. So we would just change instead of space, we would write tab or semicolon equals true. And we can also use another character. I'm going to show you that in the next example. For now, let's run this. And as you see, it has um, split the text into the three columns. So now let me show you another example where we're going to use uh, another character. So here in, in sheet two, I have some dates. And we want to use this to, to separate day, month, and, and year. So up here, I'm going to write uh, month. So the first actually is the month. This is this date is in US format. And the second is the day and then the year. So we're going to split this date into month, day, and year. And for that, uh, with the same macro, what we're going to do is um, we will select the column. But now the destination range is going to be different. It's going to be, we're going to start in B2. So we can also write here, instead of columns, we can write range is going to start in B2 and then place the rest of the data starting in B2. So it's going to start here because we're going to select only um, the dates. 
And then we need to change this here. Instead of space, it's going to be other a character. And we need to specify the other character with other char equals. And in this case, it's going to be the forward slash. So that's it. That's how we change the macro to uh, split now the, the dates into month, day, and year. Then I have selected only the dates, not the header. And then if we run the macro, you see it have split the dates into day, month, and year. So that's how we split text into columns in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.